Hello, 3D printing friends. I got something cool in the mail the other day. That's right, it is the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box, the July 2019 edition. This is the one year anniversary box. Yes, Alien 3D has been bringing happiness to 3D printer users for the past year. Stick around, we will open this up and see what's inside right after this. I'm Brian, and you are watching BV3D. Hey everyone, welcome back. So like I said, I've got the Alien 3D UFO Mystery Box. This is the July 2019 edition. It is the Alienversary edition. That's right, this is the one year anniversary of the box. They've been sending this box out for the past year. I've gotten every single one of them and I've done an unboxing for almost every single one of them. I think the only one I missed was February of this year. I was sick, lost my voice, couldn't talk. So I just kind of skipped out on that one. But I enjoy getting this box every month. For me, it is still a good value. It is $36 a month. That includes shipping in the US. Every month in the box, you get four 20 meter samples of filament. You get a 3D printing related accessory. You get a project to print. And if there is hardware or electronics that are required for the project, those are included as well. You usually get stickers, swag, and savings in the form of coupon codes. And every month, one random subscriber gets the Mothership Prize. And the Mothership Prize is an extra value item that is either in the box or if it's too big to put in the box, gets shipped separately. That's something from one of the box's sponsors every month. So that's actually pretty cool. I haven't won anything yet, although based on some spoilers that I saw posted, I won a little something in this box. So let's open this up and take a look inside. We'll see what we've got. What do we have? Well, here we are, the July 2019 Alienversary Edition. Uh, looks like the trifold is online as a PDF. There was apparently a problem getting that printed for this month. We'll set this aside. Aha! See, I told you, there were spoilers that I saw. So, I appear to have won the Avengers multi-pack of nozzles from E3D. A 0.4 millimeter brass nozzle, a plated copper nozzle, and a hardened steel nozzle. That's cool. I'm looking forward to that because I can print some other stuff than what I've got going right now. We have some Hello 3D. Oh, some temperature change PLA, changes from blue to white. Extrudes at 190 to 220 C on a bed from zero to 60 C. We'll set that right here. We have some Alien 3D Alien Ooze PLA. I did a review of that recently and I like this stuff. I will definitely make use of that. We have some Filament One Pro Select Traffic White PLA. Extrudes from 195 to 225C on a bed from zero to 60. That looks like a nice stark white. That's good, I like that. I have some uses for that as well. And we have some 3D Fuel Daffodil Yellow PLA. Extrudes from 190 to 220C on a bed from zero to 60. That's cool too, I like that color. It's a nice yellow, set that aside. We have an Alien 3D build tack surface. That's cool, a branded surface. Um, I might put that on the back of one of my other Wham Bam flexible build system sheets. That's, that's kind of cool, because sometimes I want a texture, and that gives me a texture. I'll set that right here. And even if I don't print on that, I will keep that maybe as a backdrop over there where all my prints are. This is parts for the project, and we will see what that project is in just a minute. We'll get on the Alien 3D website and see what's going on. These are the three nozzles that I won. That is cool. I like that. I think I can use those on my Mark III. I'll set that aside. Uh, put that right there. We have some uh, popping candy, like Pop Rocks, icy orange flavor. My kid likes this stuff. I'll let her have that. Uh, let's see, 50% off on Micro Swiss. I, I cheated, I got in the box and I covered up that coupon code because that's a one-time use coupon code, so I'll set that right there. Um, same for the Wham Bam systems. I think I can give this one away and I may do that because I've got lots of Wham Bam systems stuff on my machines already. Got some Wham Bam stickers, got some Micro Swiss stickers, got a... Ruffle, rolling on floor, laughing, alien themed, extraterrestrial edition comic. I think I will take a look at this later. This is from Ashcan Comics Pub. Josh has included comics from them before. That is cool. Now, 
This is another Robbie Mac box. Look for the Godzilla, see if you can find it. I'm gonna pack all this stuff back in and then we'll hit the website real quick and see what the project is. Fill that, filament, nozzles, filament, 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 coupons, info. It's kind of hard to show this off the way I normally do where I'm looking at the front of the trifold, which is here, but I suppose I can zoom in on parts of it and we'll do it that way. So the unidentified filament objects box materials contained within may cause you to jump for joy, pop a bottle of champagne, light up the sky, wake up with a killer hangover and not remember the probing. You have been warned. Meanwhile, opening the trifold up would get us to here on the left panel. So we have the information about the filaments. We have our Alien 3D Alien Ooze by IC3D. We have the Pro Select Traffic White by Filament 1. We have the Daffodil Yellow by 3D Fuel and the Blue to White Temperature Change PLA from Hello 3D. The accessory this month was the BuildTac print surface. Josh says I couldn't get a surface for everyone's specific printer that was customized with my logo. So I hope the 8x8 size I've included is enough to fit at least one of your printers or can be used for testing the build tech surface on any printer you may be able to use it on. And then here are the project parts for a flashing UFO lamp. See back for details. This month's UFO flashing lamp isn't a project I came up with. It's something someone shared on Thingiverse and I worked with a local electronics store to sort of simplify it as far as programming. While the wiring is still complicated with 30 LED lights and 30 resistors and two meters of wiring, I still think it's pretty awesome and worth a try. I hope you enjoyed as much as I have and I hope to see your makes. Link to the files at alien3d.us slash UFO 0013. There were 13 mothership prizes this month. Says the mothership winners got the 50% off at Wham Bam and the 50% off at Micro Swiss. Ten of the winners got a brand new, unreleased 3D printing pin from Ziltec. That is cool. Two winners received some E3D V6 nozzles, it looked like. And one winner received the Avengers nozzle pack from E3D. That's me. I got that one. That is cool. And Josh leaves us with a thank you. So when I first thought of the UFOs in April of 2018, I really didn't know if I could pull it off. I'd never done anything like this before. I did know that I love 3D printing and I wanted to be able to try different things. I wanted to use 3D printing for more than just cutesy models to sit on my shelves and decorate my home. I wanted to create things with 3D printing, initially a robotic dragon. 18 months after I got my first printer, I still haven't created that dragon, but this is the 13th month of projects and the UFOs, and while they're not always the best projects, not always the best accessories to me, they're the life of what I've always aimed to do, inspire myself and others to do something different. As we enter this next year of UFOs, I hope to continue bringing smiles, joy, and inspiring you to do more. And that's it for the trifold. I think it's about time to wrap this up. All right, so that's another cool Alien 3D UFO mystery box. This is the July 2019 box. This is the one year anniversary box. This is the box in which I finally won something. So I'm looking forward to making use of those nozzles. We got four cool filament samples in the box this month. We got some Alien Ooze PLA made by IC3D. We got some Traffic White PLA from Filament One. We got some Daffodil Yellow PLA from 3D Fuel. And we got some Blue to White Temperature Change PLA from Hello3D. And we got that cool blinking UFO electronics project that we need to print out the UFO for. Get that stuff soldered up, get that installed in the project and plug in a battery and get it lit up and blinking. So I will probably have a video about doing that probably in the next couple of weeks. I've got a link in the description to the Alien 3D UFO site if you would like to go check that out. Okay, we are pretty much at the end of the episode. If you made it this far, thank you and a big thanks to all of you who like, subscribe, comment on, and share these videos. Doing that really does help the channel grow. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but either way, leave your thoughts down in the comments. If you like the content that I'm producing, consider supporting the channel with a one-time micropayment. You could buy me a coffee or leave a little something in the PayPal tip jar. Links for those are down in the description. Another way to support the channel is to use my affiliate links that are down in the description. If you're shopping around online on Amazon or Gearbest or Wham Bam Systems, I have links for those down in the description. Using those links to enter the sites doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help the channel. 
So now that I've got some cool filament samples to play with, I'm gonna go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time.